Hey, what's going on, guys? Follow my Discord if you want more of um, the rants that I got going on. I just had a bipolar rant. I ain't gonna lie, guys. People sometimes cause me to be bipolar and go, you know, bipolar mode, whatever you want to call it, okay? <laughs> it triggers my bipolar disorder. So I had some people reaching out to me about what somebody uh, pretty much said about me on their live. And, you know, the thing I had to laugh about and giggle and chuckle is that I watched some of that live. And, you know, the biggest takeaway from it was I promise people stuff that I don't back up and do. I don't give. You know how weak that is as um, a talking point to utilize when it comes to me? When I literally offer every single person, it doesn't matter if you're black, blue, ugly, hot, fat, skinny, doesn't matter. I offer everybody opportunity. I don't know to have the people. Like, just reach out to me. You know, the problem is the only person I could truly say that took initiative the whole few months of me trying to really push people was Billy. Billy actually took the initiative and he actually responded um, repeatedly about doing, um, you know, this YouTube um, show together. Nothing to do with his tour business, it was just about us doing a show, okay? Ultimately. So other than that, nobody else reached out. I've tried to get every single person that's been involved with my channel to do business with me, to create a show, do something, but everybody seems to just wanna come on my panel and chat and talk and like sometimes take over the live but they won't do it on their own. Then they wanna go back and say, oh, you need us to make this happen and that happen. What happens when I'm gone? These lives don't do numbers. When I'm gone, the lives never do over 30 people, 25 people. People aren't here for you guys that think that you are the live. But then you wanna go and complain and cry like I didn't do something for you. You gotta build up something, you know? That's the reason why with, with I got a freaking fly trying to get in here. Wordplay, for example, he has creativity He's a fun person to talk to, and I know a lot of people like listening to him. But guess what? He has to build to be able to do it on his own. So what happens is when he's doing it on his own, the numbers aren't there. But when he when he's with me, the numbers get higher because we bounce ideas off each other. But I don't want to have to be there for you to do numbers. You, I don't want to cripple you. Nobody has come on my channel yet and held a conversation together and kept alive over 30 people, 25 people concurrently without me talking. That's just how it is. So the reason why I'm talking about this right now is I forgot to mention this on my live earlier that this person who literally um, tried to run away and say that I offer percentage, by the way, it's Christina. It's all good. Go real talk, Christina. Go go follow her YouTube channel. Tell her I sent you guys all love. I want her to be great. But she got to stop harping on the fact that she quit because of what I said on me. No, she quit because she chose to quit. Like she took her ball and ran. Because you know what? Here's the situation. Um, when I offered that 25% percentage, it was because I wanted her to be a managing partner with me. But guess what managing partner means? It means you actually have to have a YouTube channel so that way you can actually build on something, okay? Like there's no back office stuff that she was talking about. Like StreamYard is my back office. But guess what? She doesn't want to be on StreamYard. Like all like that. Like she doesn't show her face. You got to show your face. I'm sorry. You got to be, okay, here's the situation. You can't have it both ways, okay? When she, we were at the heated conversation, what you do if you're a managing partner, you come on and explain why I'm wrong, you feel I'm wrong, and then we keep it moving. But instead, for you to run away and just say, oh, this guy bad, that's the reason why I'm, I didn't make you a managing partner, because I, 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 I knew you didn't have what it took to be a managing partner. Like anybody that has a business know, sometimes you're not gonna agree with your business partners. You're not gonna agree with the people that you work for because ultimately the way position she put herself in, she worked for me. She worked for the channel, okay? So guess what happens? You're not gonna like your boss sometimes. Do you run away? No, you have a conversation, you air out your grievances, then if those grievances cannot be fixed, corrected, um, coddled, then guess what? You put your two week notice in, but you just don't quit. You know, it's unprofessional. I'm talking about going to another mod, or doing mod on another channel, go for it. Ain't nobody's gonna be like me. She's gonna be in for a rude awakening. Nobody's gonna give her the leeway and the power that I gave her, not the, the opportunity I offered to be on a channel that's already been, it was already popping before she came around. I'm sorry. She came around my second wave. She wasn't there at the start of my channel. Like she came after I had the 9,000 subscribers. Cause I got the 9,000 subscribers after a month and a half of being on YouTube. I don't remember her at the beginning, okay? She wasn't moderating at the beginning. She became a mod and the focal point a few months ago. You know, but it makes it seem like she's day one. Most of the people that are on my channel right now were not there from the first day. 
Okay? I can say Craig was. Craig gave a super chat. The first super chat came from Craig. Okay? But other than that, I don't remember half of the people that's on there right now. Other than Big Swole. Most of the people were not there when I first started my channel. People picked up on the channel. But the whole point I'm trying to make is this. When I offered that percentage, talking about I don't keep my word with nothing, blah, blah. I mentioned it a million times. She kept saying I want tacos. I don't want the money. I don't do it for the money. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to build something and she just wasn't situated to help. I'm sorry, you just weren't. Like, here's the situation. When I'm trying to teach somebody how to do YouTube, but they don't want to learn and listen to the point of not one time doing a video with your face, how do you work with a faceless person, okay? Like, how hard is that to understand? And you know what's crazy? She didn't catch on to it, but I asked her in text message to send a picture of her face. She sent a picture with half her face, like, cut off. It was like this. Like, I'm asking for a picture so I can know you're a real person. Like, I'm trying to verify. And you know what's crazy? I didn't even know her real name until a couple days ago. Like, I didn't even know her real name. Like, how do you do business with somebody that you don't even know? You don't even know what they look like. And she's talking about, I didn't offer any per percentage. Of course not. I don't know who you are. Yes, you can be all in my chat for all I know. I don't care. I got to be able to see you face to face. At least one time, she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't cam up. She kept saying she would. Secondly, YouTube channel. Talking about, I promote and help people. I want to help people. Nobody reached out to help with their YouTube channel. Other than Billy. Nobody. Not one person has reached out and said, hey, can you help me make my YouTube channel? Not one person. Okay, I've reached out to everybody. I want one person that actually wants to do a YouTube channel and actually have me help. And then guess what? I'm going to take some time to help them make their channel hot. But guess what? Not one person has reached out who want to show their face on screen to make a YouTube channel. So once again, I've asked her. I spent three days a couple weeks ago, like, make a channel, make a video, show your face, make a channel, make a channel, make a channel. Real talk with Christina is because of me. I'm the one that helped her come up with a professional name. Her name was Christina at first. I'm like, giving her the game on making a channel. Does that not matter? And then to think that somebody's complaining about not having somebody offer the channel. Like, what do I got to do? Do I got to pat you, smack you upside your butt? Like, get it done. Get it done. No, go do it. Jesus. I don't understand. It's like, it's like we, this generation the new generation of babies are seeping into my generation of adults. I've never met this many grown people that couldn't do anything on their own. Or if they couldn't do it on their own, complain about not being able to get it done. Do you see me complaining about not getting something done? No, like the shorts, I don't, the shorts, I don't do them because I don't have the time yet, but I will. Clean Ben's work is willing to help me. But guess what? I, didn't, I, I just, I'm lazy. With this YouTube, I'm lazy. I'm sorry. I'm better at helping other people. But do I complain about not having that stuff, which is why I'm not making money on YouTube and stuff? No. I just go with the flow. Like, I've never understood people who say they want to do something and then complain and blame somebody else for not helping them do it when that person that I've continuously told that person to do it. I've literally told everybody that's been on my panel to create a YouTube channel, show their face, that way we can build something. The only people that I think showed their face is Craig, um, Driving to Wealth, who else? I07, um, Clean Bins, of course. Um, Wordplay didn't even show his face yet, I don't think. Um, who else we got? I know I'm missing a couple other people. I apologize, guys. I got a lot going on right now. Um, those are the main. There's other people too, but I can't really. Big Swole, of course. There's been a few others, but those are the ones that got off the top of the dome. Uh, Furby. Um, everybody else don't show their face. So what I don't understand is this, okay? This is what's gonna happen now with my channel. I'm building, I'm growing, I'm making money on the side here. I was talking about it in my Discord. The job I have right now is kind of weird, okay? I come to do this job for, um, this job I get done eight hours of working four hours, okay? Three hours, but the problem is, I'm so used to working eight hours like a slave, like a worker for nothing that I'm making double the money in four hours that like at the same time, I got to take those four hours and just chill. I can't like stop doing the job. I got to still do the job, but just not do the job. If that makes sense. Like watch TV, do something else. I can't leave for eight hours. But the problem is I'm not used to that. I'm trying to get my body 
used to that. Right now I get nervous when I'm not working. When I'm not doing something, I'm just sitting there milking the clock because I'm done with my work. It makes me nervous, makes me sweat. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out a way to get comfortable not doing anything for an extended period of time and then get off and then I got my whole life to go, okay? And I'm trying to balance YouTube in between that, okay? So I'm gonna figure out a happy medium. Maybe I do YouTube for four hours and I do my job four hours. I usually get done with the job in four hours and I got four hours I can do YouTube. But I'm gonna figure it out because right now the problem I face is, um, the problem I face is I can't, I can't, I absolutely can't stress enough. Guys, we're not victims, okay? If you wanna be big on YouTube, then start with making a YouTube channel. Show your face, man. Fuck up. Stop crying, complaining, whining. Man up. Make a YouTube channel. Show your face. And then if you think you're so lit that you're an asset to, of, of my ch for me on my to have you on my live, then do a live by yourself and let's see if you can maintain 30, 40 plus people on your own. But guess what? Not one person more likely can do it. Okay. It takes it's an art to it. Today absolutely sucked. Today was a bad live. I've had a bad, a few bad lives in my in my life here at YouTube. That happens, okay? Bad live. But guess what? It's gonna be better eventually. It's gonna get better. But for now, it's bad. It was bad. And you know what? I don't care that it was bad. What can I? What I'm gonna do about it? Be better next time. Construct something. Find something to talk about. But with that said, guys. Okay. With that said. I'm going to um, go in here and hoop until like seven or until uh, my time five. So about two hours, I'm going to watch the football game. Comes on at, I think, 830. So I'm going to hoop for like two and a half hours. Let's enjoy life. Let's enjoy life. Let's kick it hard. But I'm just telling you this right now. I'm not no longer ever allowing anybody to make me feel like I'm inferior, like I'm a bad person for doing nothing but just being me. I've offered to help people and I'm sorry, I'm a busy man. You have to reach out and blow my phone up and then eventually I'm gonna help you. But calling me one time, texting me one time, I wanna give you a number, that doesn't do it, okay? You gotta show me you want it. When, you gotta understand, all those opportunities I had, I had to show the person I wanted, I had to blow them up. Look, I'm not nobody special, but I'm somebody that you wanna work with, so you might have to blow me up. Like if you see somebody that's gonna give you a live that can get 40 to 50 concurrently at a time, that can get you subscribers, in a snap of a finger, utilize that guy. Like, I'm, I, I got no matter what, 8,000 plus subscribers. I got, on most videos, like this video is probably gonna do five, 500 views. That's 500 eyes on your product, your channel. So come on and show, show me something that you want it and then we can do something with it. Otherwise, stop complaining, stop acting like you're a victim, you're not a victim. You're just somebody that don't wanna put the work in, um, somebody that wants to have it all, but don't wanna, um, you know, do it on their own. Um, you want somebody to push you. And I'm guilty of that. But guess what? I'm not on here blaming people for the reason why my channel hasn't grown. Because I know it's my fault. Because I'm choosing not to do shorts, not to post these videos, not to do these things. But look, guys, I gotta go. Let me do one for the thumbnail real quick. Thumbnail photo. There you go. Um, I'm gonna do this video as um, you ain't got the answers. There you go. That's this is this is I just created another show. You ain't got the answers. So that's all I got for now. Hit the like button if you watch all the way through and you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tell me in the comments below. Answer these questions if you don't mind. Should I be calling somebody that ended the friendship over a disagreement in words? Of, I didn't call them nothing other than nothing. I just said what I said. Remember, what I said that triggered everybody was me talking about white folks same way i talk about black folks talk about asian folks talk about everybody okay say you don't like me for that but don't act like it's because of racism or something like that because when i was talking about black folks for months you know the ones that i, I call the worst of us not all but the ones i call worse for us nobody had an issue but now that i'm talking about all people doing bad things i'm talking about for white folks slave owners the slave owners and the people who benefited from slavery those are the only white people i was talking about now it's a big deal Y'all let me know in the chat. Should I be better at that? Should I like, like just be more respectful? Should I be more respectful? Should I um, not talk about, uh, or should I call a friend, so-called friend 
who cut me off. Wasn't the other way around. They cut me off. I didn't, in that situation, or should I let it live? Let it live. Because I don't think I, I'm wrong. I don't think I should be apologizing for nothing. All I did was speak facts and truth. Then when I was working and doing my thing and people were on my panel, guess what? Y'all love the panels. Free open conversation. Now it's such a big, big deal because these people don't agree with you. You know what? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Um, Y'all let me know in um, the comments. Y'all let me know comments. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know what y'all think. Who's right, who's wrong? Is there even anybody wrong or anybody right? You know, um, y'all let me know in the comments below. And then do y'all see the victim mentality that I got to deal with that people want to say that I don't do what I say I'm going to do? It's a lot I don't do. But when it comes to helping people, you got to reach out. You know, if you want my help, reach out. Blow me up. I got you. Otherwise, I don't want to hear it. But that's all I got for now. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, checking out the video. Hit the like button on your way out. I'm out. Peace.